So in today's video, I wanna to speak to you guys a little bit about a problem that, as far as I can tell, all filmmakers have and a potential solution to this problem. We're gonna head out and we're gonna create a little cinematic B-roll sequence, bring you guys along for the ride and towards the end of the video, I'm gonna actually show you guys the sequence that we were able to capture, what we were able to film, all put together with some editing and music, all of that good stuff. So let's head out. I also have a really cool surprise that I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute. So let's go. We have a new addition to the family. If you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that we recently got this Super, super cool, bright yellow VW Synchro. And it's a car I've like wanted my entire life. So we've got it now and we got some crazy cool trips planned for it. Um, but yeah, very, very excited about having this to use now. What do you guys think? You guys just <laughs> chilling <laughs> on the deck, huh? All this floor so space. space. Yeah, yeah so it's like a, a gear room here. Yeah. But yeah, it's way too stoked about this van. Um, we're gonna be doing some really fun trips in it, making some cool videos about it. Today, I have a pretty interesting thing to talk to you guys about, and we're gonna be using the van as just a bit of like a, a prop to film some fun videos and photos. We're gonna take you guys along and show you us capturing all the photos and videos. Yay! If you guys are into filmmaking, you know you have to use variable NDs and if you do use ND filters at all, you're pretty much just one type of person, there's only one type of person and that's someone that hates using ND filters. I do everything I can to figure out ways not to use them and workarounds, but there kind of just isn't. If you want that true motion blur, you have to use ND filters. But when you're trying to change them the whole time, you're trying to take them off, it's a little bit too dark, then it's super sunny outside and you've got to screw them back on and then you have a different size lens, so you gotta start fiddling with these step up rings and then you gotta like change it so that it fits to the other one and then change it on the other one. Dude, it's like, it's the worst. The product that I wanna to talk to you guys about today is this magnetic ND filter kit from Freewell. And you guys know I don't really do product reviews on this channel very often, but for this one, I just thought this was something that I wanted to share with you guys because this is actually gonna change how you guys use your ND filters and everything. Check this out, so here's what we got. You have one screw on filter like this, and that's your base. And you can slot in different bases in there, which we're gonna to get to later on. But then you have two other sets of NDs. You have a two to five and you have a six to nine. So I can throw the two to five on like that. And boom, we have an ND filter. If you have another lens, you can get another base and you can just pop this off, pop it onto your other lens, pop it back on here. It's like, it's literally that easy. I'm gonna start filming a little scene of Hannah here. Basically my idea is we're gonna get her driving the van a little bit on this road and then we're gonna get her pulling over and getting out and kind of walking down to the beach. Just making a cool little cinematic scene with the cool van. I just wanted to grab something of it. And we're gonna be testing out the Endies while we do it. It's very windy outside right now guys. So sorry for any wind noise. We're trying to film some of it in the van like this. Benefits of having a big yellow van. Yeah. the filming vehicle. Shooting on the usual SM3. I'm gonna shoot on my slightly longer lens, 28 to 75. And we got the Zion Crane 2S. Of course, we're gonna be using our Freewell magnetic NDs. Super hard to change ND filters right now, guys. Check us out. Boom, take the nice lens cap, which is awesome, by the way. Take that one off, put the new one on. That was hard, okay? Now we can go film outside. <laughs> So windy out there. Inside the car now, I'm gonna need to swap out my ND filter to go back to the slightly lighter ones. It's like, it's seriously a game changer, it's this easy. Think how cool this lens cap is, by the way. Check it out. It's a cool glass ND. Pretty sick. Get the big light shot, we get so far away. super useful is having these hard stocks on the ND. If I'm like here right now and I crank it either way, it has those locking stops. If you don't have those, 
you can spin it too far and you get those weird X patterns or any other like image distortion which is not good. These ND filters actually have another trick up their sleeves which is super useful and basically if you take these off and you flip them around all of a sudden they become circular polarizer filters and if you guys are unsure what that is it's if you have a blown out sky you can tweak this to make it that the sky is going to have a bit of a gradient on it and you can also cut glare with these so if you're filming some sort of water you can twist this until the glare disappears likewise if you're filming through glass or if you check out in this example shot i can film through the window and get a really clear shot through the windscreen without having like a crazy glare or anything on it you can do this for the two to five stop and you can also do it for the six to nine stop they both can flip over and be used as circular polarizers which is pretty awesome Okay, that looks super cool. Uh, now we're just gonna get a couple of shots of kind of like kind of getting out, walking down onto the beach. It's actually getting so cold in Cape Town right now. It, like it looks all sunny and everything, but it's freezing cold even when the sun's out and it looks like it's summer, it ain't. And there's something else that I want to test out with these ND filters because with the set that you get from Freewell, you also get something called the mist filter how this works this is super cool and if you guys are filming something where you have like lights in the background or maybe some sun flares this basically puts like a soft hazy dreamy effect over your footage it's not too intense to the point where it's like necessarily noticeable but putting it on can sometimes just give that kind of feeling this base plate comes out and you can swap it for the mist one so we just pop that one out it's also magnet and we can pop in our mist filter like that. We can still put on our variable ND so that we have ND and mist. I wanna go just get one or two more shots of Hannah and kind of experiment with the mist filter and show you guys how it looks. Having a lot of fun caching like cool shots, just chilling out in the van. Why would you want mist? Like what would you use that for? It makes it like soft and dreamy. Like if you, if you have lights in the background or sun and you just film it normally, it's like one hard hotspot. And if you put the mist filter on it, like bursts it out almost. It makes it this like, like flared out light. And if you have like street lights in the background, they all flare out and get this nice big ball of like glowing bokeh. Can I borrow it? <laughs> Maybe, if I'm not using it. <laughs> it's the middle of winter here in the Southern Hemisphere for all of you guys in the Northern Should Hemisphere. We I'm looking into the sun and that's, I think where this is gonna shine the most is when you're looking yeah. into lights. But this whole side is all blown out and like all hazy and nice. It looks incredible. So you can even see on the side of the door here where there's a slight reflection, comes this like big glowing focus spot. Whoa, this is cool. It has like a very dreamy effect to it. What I want to do is actually just get two shots that we can throw up next to each other with this mist filter and without because it looks insane. I think I might have to like shoot with this thing on every time. I'm not just saying that. It looks incredible. Like with low light and when you're shooting into the light, I got a sweet ass kangaroo pouch, just my free oil filters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get one right here, and I'm gonna try to get the same one without it. I'm gonna try to get the same shot without the filter. It's not nearly as cool. Let's jump in the van because it's freezing. I definitely think like there's a time and place for this filter you wouldn't necessarily want to always use it because it is like a very specific look it's so nice having um the van as like to move around we can have like a little studio where we can do <laughs> our little talking bits here and then we can get out and film like some b-roll come back to the van and talk about it we need we should build an editing setup over there with a laptop we can dump the footage <laughs> go through it and look at it this is the video with no filter here yeah? Oh, it's so vintagey. Yeah, so it has this like crazy glow that happens. It's so cool. It's so like dreamy and moody. We are gonna go get just a couple more shots of Hannah down on the rocks here while the light's nice. And then I have something I wanna talk to you guys about once we get back to the studio and just tell you a little bit about these ND filters and some of the things that you guys might wanna look out for.
And that's what we were able to capture today. Really fun little shoot, had a lot of fun in the van and had a lot of fun using the Freewheel Magnetic NVs. They are really a pleasure to use, especially in a scenario where you're switching between those lighting conditions and anything where you need a cut glare using those CPLs is an absolute game changer. So let's take a little look at what we were actually able to capture. I put together a little edit with some music, some cool slow motion and a couple of other little techniques. Let's have a watch and see what you guys think. That's it. Hope you guys thought that was cool. You can see we didn't go too crazy with the cinematics and all of that. We were really just trying to test out the ND filters and see what they were capable of. And I am definitely super impressed with them. I think as filmmakers, there's so many different little issues and things that you need to figure out throughout one of your film shoots. And if there's a product or a company that's doing something to eliminate some of those issues, that's something that I'm gonna stand by and something that I wanna get involved in. And that's why I thought I would share this video with you guys showing you the Freewell NDs. Right now, Freewell has the Kickstarter campaign up and if you guys wanna purchase any of the Freewell ND filters, they're gonna be linked in my description. The earlier you purchase, the better the price is gonna be for the filters that you're buying. The first 1,000 that are gonna be available are gonna be $300. The second 1,000 are gonna be $350. Thereafter, they're gonna go up to their sort of like standard selling price, which is gonna be between four and $500. So if this is something you guys are interested in, which I'm sure it is, check out the link rather sooner than later. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you had fun coming along for the ride and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm controlled by planktons.